Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Code Igniter for Framework Tutorial. This is our part number 25. Inside this video session, guys, we are going to discuss about Pager Service. By the help of this Pager Service, we can implement or integrate about pagination feature. Now, if I back to Editor, now let's create a method to understand clearly about Pager Service. So let's say public function. Let's say get users or simply let's say get users data and inside this we are going to create the instance of model and the model based concept actually we had discussed several times inside this course. Now inside this method what I will do we are going to create an instance of user model. So user model equal to new user model now by the help of this user model instance we are going to fetch all the values what we have inside our tbl users table because user model is pointing towards tbl users table now if we go to its definition go inside models folder open up called user model as we can see that the table which is pointing user model is something tpl underscore users so we are going to read all the data user model let's say find all if we store here inside this data variable simply let's say echo pre tag write print r let's say data save this change go to config folder inside config folder we have routes.php let's create a route for that method users hyphen data and inside site controller we have the method called get users data so copy and pasting it here save this routes.php file back to controller and if we save this change copy this route name back to browser and let's say that index.php and the route name we have called users hyphen data now as we can see that we are getting all the data what we have inside our table now go here back to site controller so instead of printing all the values what I will do we are going to call a view file let's say view inside this let's say users hyphen data and inside that view file we are sending our users data so simply data here now in the next step we need to create this view file read all the users and print as inside the tabular format press ctrl b go to views folder and inside this views folder we need to create a file with the name of users hyphen data users hyphen data dot php now inside this let's create a s3 element tag welcome to let's say users data we are going to define a table inside this table we have a t head tag we need to create our header first so th let's say we have id column we have name column and we have let's say email column now we are going to define all about t body for our table data let's say tr before that we need to use a for each loop because we need to iterate over all the data what we are getting inside this variable so copy this key go here inside this view file let's say if count it means we have many users we are getting some records for each let's say users we are going to iterate over users variable let's say index and we have a user value save this change we are getting some error and this is because actually it's okay here we need to use as keyword go inside this for each and here inside this 
we are going to create a TR tag inside this we have table data PHP let's echo and this user is going to iterate over each user object actually we are getting all the values inside array format it means the user variable this is a loop variable which indicates all about each individual user so we are getting ID key name key email and the phone number so from all these columns we want only this ID name and email value so back to editor let's say user and inside this as we know that this is an array so we want all about the first column as an ID value copy paste in the second column we want name in the second we want the email value save this change go and reload this page and as we can see that we are getting all about the users data so let's say that we have thousand records so in that case we want to integrate or implement about pagination concept this pagination concept what we are going to integrate is server side instead also if we want to use client side then there are multiple jQuery libraries which we can use inside application and make our client side table listing now we are going to use our pager service for creating pagination so let's say that for the first page we want only five records while clicking on the second page link we want next five records back to editor go inside site controller and using the pager service is quite very very simple what i will do simply comment this line this is users key which is going to contain all about the users data now here we don't have any data variable so instead of data variable it's a user model which is an instance of this user model class and we are going to use paginate method inside this paginate method we are going to pass our numeric value that numeric value actually indicates about total number of records which we want page wise so let's say that total number of five records we want for the page one page two and so on so in the next key i'm going to write a pager key you can define your own custom key so pager equal to let's say user model and here we are going to use a pager property save this change now inside this view file we are sending two keys first is all about users variable which is going to contain all about five arrays of users and the second key we are using called a pager property save all these changes save this controller back to view file and here if we go and reload this page and as we can see that we are getting only number of records equal to five now next we want here all about the pagination link so for the pagination link we are going to use this second key go ahead inside this view file define a php tag or simply we can use the shorthand operator for php tag get rid of this extra tier and inside this pager keep in mind this is the variable or this is the key what we are sending here so pager we have a method called links now if we save go here reload this page and as we can see that considering about total number of records it has now created two pagination links the first is all about these records if we click on the second page we are getting all about five more different records in the query string you can see that we have a query string variable something page equal to two now click on first we are getting all about first page data if in case we want let's say number of records equal to two per page back to editor go to site controller writing it to now according to this number of records it is automatically going to divide and creates the pagination link now if I reload this page and as we are getting one two 
3 and so on. Now currently we are at page 1, click on next, page 4, if we go inside 2, 3, 4 and so on. This is all about the alignment issue. If we want to fix inside a horizontal row, we need to use our custom CSS for that. So let's inspect, go inside our console window, inspect, inspect that. Here we have a UL tag. First of all, let's say list style type equal to none. And inside this ally, add here, let's say display equal to inline. As we can see here, it is not perfect. And next, we need to create a padding. So let's say 10 pixel. As we can see that we can create much more attractive while using our custom CSS. So successfully guys, by the help of this pager service, we have implemented all about the pagination feature inside our application. So this is very very easy to integrate. Simply we need to use this methods, use this way, go to view file and simply we need to use a links method. So inside this video session guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.